You too. This is Mo's Nose. I am Mo's. And we are back. Episode 24. Team Mock Draft Series. Full seven round mock. Every team in the NFL. Today, we're going down to Jerry's world. We are making selections. Full seven round mock draft for the Dallas Cowboys, a.k.a. America's team. That's what they want to call themselves. Whatever. Um, few changes. Not too many. Uh, no more Amari Cooper. Um, added James Washington in that wide receiver core. Um, who's the right tackle? What's my man name? Leo Collins. He's in Cincinnati now. Um, uh, Randy Gregory. He's in Denver. So, I mean, looking at this team, it's a, it's a pretty solid roster. Um, I, I, I might want to tackle. <laughs> I might want to tackle the right tackle position. Absolutely. Uh, we got Connor McGovern at left guard, but maybe looking to bring in some competition there. Uh, maybe a defensive tackle. Maybe a, a few more linebackers. Trayvon Diggs, Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis. Uh, Kelvin Joseph got maybe some legal issues going on, but we're pretty solid in the secondary. J. Ron Curse is back, brought Malik Hooker over. Uh, so, you know, it, we got pieces here. There are definitely pieces here. Um, this, it, this might be uh, a best player available, but let's see what positions we want to attack for this Dallas Cowboys team and, and make us a little bit better. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to select the Dallas Cowboys. We want seven rounds and we want fast draft speed because we do not care. I repeat, we do not care what anybody else is doing. And just like that, we are on the clock at 24. So they're saying edge rush is in need, safety is in need, wide receivers in need, interior offensive line is in need, D tackle is in need, corner tight end tack, offensive tackle and QB. Nah, ooh. Mm. I just said I'm looking at that offensive line. And I can bring in Zion Johnson to battle with Connor McGovern. And him being on the opposite side of Zach Martin. Listen here. And Kenyon Green still on the board. Ooh, I can go either one. Now, Zion gives me a little bit more versatility because he can play center. But I believe Kenyon, didn't he play a little bit of tackle? He can play both guard positions and right tackle. I'm going King and Green just because if he doesn't fit at right tackle, which is a hole that we need to fill with the loss of Lyle Collins, we can put him in at left guard because he can play both guard positions and right tackle. I'm going King and Green. Keep him in Texas. That's an easy trip for him. Okay. I love Zion too. All right. Back on the clock. Oh, we might as well just keep every <laughs> we might as well just keep everything in Texas. I mean, we can get the Marvin Leo right here. We also got Cam Thomas. We definitely do need to shore up that edge position. Yes, we we signed Dante Fowler Jr., but can never have enough pass rushers. So do we want a Cam Thomas? 6'5, 267 Cam Thomas possible do we want DeMarvin Leo to shore up that, that uh, defensive tackle spot Carlos Watkins and, and Tristan Hill okay Neville Gallimore but you know do we want to stay like that I think I think Watkins Although he's a vet, should have to battle for his spot. 
Tristan Hill, second round pick in 2019. So he may be solidified. I believe Neville Gallimore was last year. No, 20, yeah, 2020. My bad. Odigi. Was Odigi Zua last year? Yeah. So, I mean, every year they've taken a defensive tackle. They've taken a defensive tackle in, in 19, in 20, and 21. So, if that lets me know that this team likes drafting defensive tackles. They want to shore up that interior of the defensive line. Now, do we have to go to Marvin Leal Hill? To Marvin Leal here? Maybe not. Um, Zach Carter, Florida. Fedarian Mathis, who I love. Matthew Butler from Tennessee. There's a lot of guys we can get later. Um, Edge. And then safety. Ooh, Kirby Joseph coming in to battle for that free safety spot. I feel like Malik Hooker is going to do that, but I, lo I love Kirby Joseph as a free safety. I wonder if it's too rich to take him right here at 56. Gosh, dang. I mean, Cam Thomas, when you look at player rank. Um, next edge is Logan Hall, but I think he's going to kick inside. Josh Pascal's an outside linebacker, but we need somebody 4-3, hand in the dirt. Best fit, 4-3, although he's scheme versatile. Um, let's go Cam Thomas. Let's solidify that edge, get a young guy in the building. And then with our next pick, we'll, we'll see if we want to go. Can't go Kirby Joseph because he's off the board. Hmm. Tough. That's tough. But see, Kirby Joseph was ranked 105. But if you look where he went, he went 66, 68. Like, don't let the rank fit. These, these guys are better than what they're putting out there. And my, all my defensive tackles is gone. Yikes, bro. I mean, Matthew Butler is still here, so I'm I'm cool on that. Safety's Nick Cross, but he's, mm, I feel like he's more of a strong safety. He's one of those, uh, more a strong safety. Uh, I see somebody who I, I might be eyeing later for that free safety spot. Do we want to go get another wide receiver? Think what this guy can do with the ball in his hands so wait let me see butler's 119 wandell outside of lamb gallup in washington mm, okay I'm going wandell robinson from kentucky i like that better give me a, a fourth option in that receiving core Somebody who can do damage with the ball in his hands after the catch, getting yak. I like that a lot. Okay, back on the clock here, 129. Haven't been paying attention to the board, so. Okay, he's gone. That's fine. 129, safety. I'm fine with taking him here at 129. JT Woods from Baylor, keep him in Texas. As somebody who can fit that free safety mold he's a ball hunk he had um what was it six interceptions this past season two in the uh the uh, championship game absolutely okay now let's look here i'm fine with this as well otito agbania from ucla depth at that defensive tackle spot that fell perfectly for me 167. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, and we got 176 and 178. All right. 
let's go let's go back here let's slow down i was about to fly through this do they need a punter oh they got brian Eager. i'm so ready to put matt arizo on anybody's team kid is amazing okay i know we got jabril cox we got michael Parker and jabril cox but i feel like at some point we want to move on from Leighton vander esch I'm gonna go with DeMarco Jackson from Appalachian State. I like this kid a lot. At 176. Um, looking into, ooh. K Mays from Tennessee, backup guard. And at 178. Chase Lucas from Arizona State. Let's go. That fell perfectly for me. That fell just how I wanted it to fall. I like that. 193. What we got? Do we want to look at tight ends at this point? Cole Turner backing up Dalton Schultz. Like it. Finishing up the sixth round here, moving into the seventh. Do we have a late round pick? No, we don't. That's gonna wrap it up. No seventh round pick for the Cowboys here. All right, let's take a look and see what we did. I actually am really excited about this. Okay, so we at 24. We take offensive lineman King and Green again. He can play both guard positions and right tackle. Um, so maybe we look to slide him in at right tackle uh, to replace Lael Collins. At pick 56, we take edge rusher Cameron Thomas from San Diego State. Um, it's going to be in that rotation um, and our defensive end spot. At 88, we take wide receiver Wandale Robinson from Kentucky. At 129, we take safety JT Woods from Baylor. At 155, we take uh, defensive tackle Otito Agbania from UCLA. At 167, we take linebacker DeMarco Jackson at depth at that position. At 176, we take guard Kate Mays. Now, we take Kate Mays. If we're going to put King and Green, this is the thought process. If we put King and Green at right tackle, then we bring in Kate Mays and he battle out with Connor McGovern. Either Connor McGovern accepts the challenge and ups his game, or Kate Mays comes in, dominates right away. And we could put K Mays on the offensive line at left guard. And now our offensive line is Tyron Smith, K Mays coming in balling, Tyre B. Adish, Zach Martin, and K and Green. So I think we retool that offensive line and we can go right back out and put up a lot of points as the Dallas Cowboys are trying to do. At 178, we take cornerback Chase Lucas from Arizona State. And at 193, we take backup tight end Cole Turner from the Nevada. Cowboys fans, tap in with me in the comment section. I'm going to send this to a couple of y'all so y'all can watch it. And so y'all can share it amongst y'all Cowboys contingent. And I want y'all to chime in, man. Let me know how you think I did. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Let me know what you would do differently. Sound off in the comment section. Um, if this is your first time here at Mo's Knows, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you. You can get in contact with me through my social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I will have a link to those social media outlets in the description below. Again, if this is your first time here or if you've been on the fence about becoming part of the family, wait, why, don't, don't waste don't waste your time. Come on, be a part of the Muslims fam. Once you're family, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So smash that subscribe button for me to take another two seconds and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time new content drops right here at Mo's Knows. This has been a good one. I'm a fan of this draft. Looking forward to hearing from you Cowboys fans. Thank you. Love you. Appreciate you. I'll catch you in episode 25. Y'all be easy.